What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from Ami Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number seven. Today, I'm going to show you how to bounce your audio tracks in place. You can also do this for MIDI tracks, but today, I'm going to show you how to bounce your audio tracks in place. Basically, what it does is it helps you alleviate some of the stress off your computer. So, it allows your computer to focus on other things rather than focusing on your entire session, which will slow it down sometimes. And you probably came across it once or twice before where your session just stops in its place because it just can't handle and it can't process everything in real time as you play out the song. Now, we're going to pretend that I have 40 tracks here and that I have hundreds of, I don't know, 10, let's say 10 insert plugins, effect plugins on each track, because that's what really slows down your computer is the amount of tracks you have and the amount of insert plugins you have on each track. As you can see, I have nothing, but we're just going to pretend I have a bunch of them just for the tutorial's sake. So I'm going to go ahead and play, and I'm going to bounce down some of the tracks to help alleviate the stress on my CPU and computer. Let's go ahead and put play. All right, so that's pretty much my track right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the track I want to bounce. I'm going to click it. Now, before I go to the bounce and play, some other DAWs, they don't have this feature. What they have is, well, what people normally do is in Pro Tools and Cubase and Sonar, whatever your other DAW is that you use, basically what they would do, they would bounce the whole track as a whole and then import the file back into their session. Now, it's all good. It just takes more time. In Logic, there's a feature built right in, like we've been talking about, the bounce and place feature. And it does everything right in the session. You never have to leave the window. So I'm going to go ahead and select my region that I want bounce. Now, the reason why I'm selecting my region is because it's a small region. This is only eight bars. So I'm, going to, I'm going to bounce the region in place. But if you have a whole track that you want to bounce, you will go to track, bounce track in place, which will bounce the whole drums track, the track that you have selected. Why didn't the window come up? Let me click it again. And then you would go about your day and click OK, and it'll bounce the whole track down. But since I only have an 8-bar loop here, I'm going to go to Region, Bounce Region in Place, which is pretty much, it's the same thing as bouncing track in place. It just bounces a region rather than the whole track. And then you can go about your day and do all your settings here. So I'm going to call the drums. And then for, I'll do a destination to a new track. The source, I'm going to mute the track because in Logic, it doesn't have really a deactivate feature to... Basically what deactivating a track means, it takes it out of the session without actually deleting it. It allows your CPU to kind of forget about that track and worry more about the other tracks. Uh, in Logic, all you have to do is mute and that pretty much deactivates the track, alleviates some of the stress from the CPU. Uh, bypass effect plugins. No, I want to leave the effect plugins in because that's what was slowing down Logic in the first place was all the effect plugins and I want to mix properly with all my effects there. So I'm going to leave that there like that. Include audio tail. Okay. And... Normalize, I pretty much always use overload protection only. You're not normalizing it, you're just overload protection only. So if it, the audio file does get overloaded, probably doesn't, but if it does, Logic will help you there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So there it is. It bounced my track right in place, puts it right under it, calls it what I called it, drums. And then it mutes the region for you right there. But normally what I like to do is when I bounce a track in place or muted a track or bounce the region in place. I usually like to mute the whole track, hit H on my keyboard, hide the track, and then it's hidden. I don't have to worry about it. If I want to change if I want to change one of the effects in this track, I would hit H again, unmute the track, and then I would go affect all the plugins and then bounce it again. That is a pretty much the way that a lot of people use in a way to help alleviate some of the stress from the CPU when their sessions get too large. Now, with computers in today's day and age, you pretty much don't really come across that all too much, but you do still come across it if you really have a lot of tracks in Logic or if you're running off a mobile system like a laptop or anything like that. So again, if you want to bounce a track in place, let's let's pretend we want to bounce a track in place here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the base over here. I'm going to go to track, bounce track in place. Okay, let me call it base. I want to put it on a new track. I want to leave all the plugins on there and include that. Click OK. Logic will go through the track. All right, so there you have it, the bounce in place feature in Logic. You bounce a region track as I showed you, or it can bounce the whole track. Pretty much does the same thing. I'm Adam from Ami Music Mogul. If you have any other questions, comments, subscribe, watch more videos. Always good stuff coming soon. Later, guys.